want some, get some, bad enough, take some Hello and welcome to episode 62 of Fang in the Bang with Gangrel and Ariel. 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 I always say it wrong. Ariel. 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 <laughs> All right. Do you hear? How are you doing today? What's going on? I'm good. I'm tired. Are you tired? I'm yeah, tired. but you had a, a long, uh, yeah, long just, weekend. I think I'm right? getting old. Just getting old. I think wow. it's just getting old and getting ready to go into a busy season. How was your weekend around? So we'll cover, let's we'll cover what we did this week. It was fine. It was fine. We had a Ocala show with CCW Friday. You're just saying how much you love Ocala. I love Ocala. <laughs> I love going there. Now, uh, yeah, I worked Jake Logan. Nice kid. You know him? Jake Logan. The blonde hair, big guy? Yes. From Tennessee? No, I know is Logan Paul. Is he from Paul. Tennessee? I don't know. I know Logan Paul. Yeah, I don't know Logan Paul. Yeah, well, uh, Logan, Logan Paul is phenomenal. Um, is Jake Logan. Is Jake. he as good as Logan Paul? What? Is he as good as Logan Paul? No, he's good. But he's good. it's good. He's working. I think, he's, I, think he's I know Jake. Around. He's working with... Uh, yeah, he's a, like he works everywhere in Florida. But he, but he's, he uh, Florida. he's been in the Control Your Narrative stuff lately. Hmm. With, uh, is it Jake out of Nashville or is he a Florida guy? I think he, he he's from... Yeah, he's from... Uh, more up north is he an ex-military guy no but he sad used to be a worker too oh i don't know i don't know i, I, I might i might know who it is i'm not sure okay. i know jake but i don't know what his last name cool was. guy work a cool cool title match with him yeah. it was nice and then uh saturday we had the breakout show at the school oh. at the ccw training facility right. and i just i didn't i didn't have a match I just came out with alan Alan Martinez gave him a good introduction oh, because well, Alan, because this past weekend uh, it was uh, Chile's national holidays. Oh, well, happy national holiday! Independence yeah. Day or something? Yeah, I mean it's it's not the Independence Day because we didn't get our independence that day, but we celebrate like the the national day that that we because it's it's when it's when the process to get the independence started. Started. That's okay. And this is for Chile. Chile, yeah. So, and, and you September, and Alan, September you're, you're, 18th. You're from Santiago, Chile? I'm from the, Santiago. And Alan is from? Alan is from a uh, 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 small town uh, called uh, Quilpue. Oh, that's where all the bandits and the robbers are. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's it's, a more, uh, <laughs> it's not it's not that, but it, yeah, it's a more uh, it's more of a. He looks like a bandit. Like he a, looks like a bandit. No, but he's a nice kid. He's a nice kid. You call him nice, but like when I wrestle you, you have to wrestle Alan, and then uh, you're wrestling two of you. Yes, I know. Yes, yes, it's a pain. In that's that's as we do. That's why that's why I bring him. Does he speak English? Alan? Yeah, Alan. A little bit. He understands most of it. Sometimes I have to help him. Sometimes he's like. It's like, but I used to be like that too when I was learning. Okay. He's like, you talk to him, and he's like, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. And I, and I'm like, did you understand what they what they say? And he's like, no. Because I asked him one time if he wanted to have sex with me, and he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And I sure. look at him like, I sure. <laughs> no, you know, I, I do say I use uh, no, I, I'm not the mess with him, but sometimes I just use different terminologies. And, and, and I know. I'll, and I'll see him look at me, and then I go, oh gosh, he didn't get that one. No, he's like, just trying no, to be. No, nice. he's a nice guy, so except for when you're wrestling with him and he's interfering all the time in the matches. So, <laughs> so breakout went good. Anybody stand out? They break out in the uh, matches. You watch the matches. I mean, I really, really like what this they, is. CCW. We're talking yes, about CCW because we did this. Uh, um, uh, 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 there was a five thousand dollar check, and oh, is that why the seven or o- of our newer guys, like over there, our oh. greener guys, like your new guys, most new of them, students, your students, students. Uh, were students. in that latter match. It was like kind of a uh, money in the bank gimmick, you know? Okay, like and and they actually did a pretty good job. I, I thought it was going to be a, a who won that? Uh, Chris Farrell. Oh, okay. Chris, Far- but actually, uh, Elliot Crow, Jaden. Yes. Did a, a very good job in that one. Yeah. And, I, um, Chris is a class. He's working hard. I noticed uh, Jaden, Elliot Crow, whatever the hell he's called now. He's working hard. And Matodi and uh, Will. They're the only ones I see working hard. Oh, really your hard. boy your boy Joe Garcia did a good job, too. I know uh, it's... Joe's... Uh, it's not your favorite. No, no, he's not. He's not, not my favorite. I got to keep an eye on him that he doesn't come in and become an active shooter or something. Like, like, like he's like very suspect. But he also did a good job in the. In the I worry about him. I worry about him. Not, not that I'm going to get shot. I worry about his 
just depression or something. He's got things going on. Or yeah. stuff. And Meadow, Meadow Work, this Leon Ironside kid, this kid from 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 the UK that comes sometimes. Oh, I know who you're talking about. He yeah. questions everything. Yes. Andrew. Yes, I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah, he yeah. talks a lot. And I, I, I was giving him, in, I was like, are you sad because of the queen and stuff? And he was like, don't, don't let me start. He was... Ah, it's a big thing. I guess. Not, yeah, for them, it's, apparently. It's a, well, yeah, it's a very big thing in the UK. Right? <laughs> yeah, the, the, the queen. Now, the, who's it now? Prince Charles? Like, is, yeah, the King Charles. Now. How's that work in Spain? Or uh, Chile? How's it work? Oh, no, we don't have a king there. You just have a leader? So, yeah, democracy. We have a president right. and a parliament. Oh, and and a, yeah, we're... It's all good down there. Then. Modern democracy. Oh, it's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, okay, cool. go. <laughs> so happy uh, Independence. Uh, oh, thank you, uh, uh, thank you. Coming off that, happy Independence of Chile. Uh, what did I, what was I? I was in Syracuse, New York this weekend, and then I was in Charleston, South Carolina. So Syracuse was good. Uh, uh, Excite Pro Wrestling. It was a tag match. I, I tagged with a werewolf. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a werewolf. I, I think they called us Team Twilight. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but uh, to be honest, I watched the Twilight movies. You ever watch the Twilight movies? Yes. Okay. I mean, not, nah, I, my, one of my ex-girlfriends used to love that movie. Yeah, see, ex-girlfriends. So that's usually the, 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 the thing. It's a girl that love that movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a girly movie. Yeah. It's a love story. But uh, Team Twilight, I wasn't big on the name, but uh, but it, it was a good show. What was, what was that movie? I think it's based on a comic. Where the the lichens and the and the vampires and like yeah, the, underworld underworld, underworld. Yeah, yeah. that one I like yeah underworld's good underworld's I'm like good. Uh, vampire from Brooklyn or whatever Raymond had me watch what was that uh, uh, the day shift day shift <laughs> you never day watched shift. it yet, have you? oh no I haven't watched I haven't watched yet thank God for Snoop Dogg he saved that whole movie I've been, I've been watching <laughs> I've been watching the latest uh, Cobra Kai season the Cobra Kai yeah uh, I'm I'm not uh, I'm not a fan. I mean, I am a fan of Cobra Kai. I love the f the first four seasons, but now he he went too over too far with the soap opera thing, and the, yeah, I I don't know. The only movie that I even like Ralph Macchio in well, with the Outsider. So there's two movies, but my cousin Vinny because he's in jail most of the movie because it just suits <laughs> the whiny little bratty. The Karate Kid. I'll get started on that. Like, like I hated the Karate Kid. Like, you hated. I the cheered for the guys when they're beating them up. You know, like, like I cheered for the skeletons. You know, it, it was like he, this kid. Well, that that's that's why Cobra Kai was born. Yeah, and now Cobra Kai, and then you see who the real heel is. He's yeah, the real yeah, yeah. heel. Like he's a, like a bit of a butthead, man. Like, so uh, I, I struggle with watching Cobra Kai. I watched like two seasons of it, and then I started getting into the kids, and he opened a dojo in his backyard. But the the Johnny something. Lawrence character is still cool. Like the um, what's his name? I don't I don't remember the name of the actor, but the 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 guy that was the heel in in uh, mm -hmm. in uh, the Karate Kid, but now he's sweep the leg. Yeah, yeah. that guy that guy like the Johnny Lawrence character. Mm. That 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 guy's really, he reminds me a lot of you. <laughs> <laughs> because Man. he's like a this tough teacher. We both have a distaste know? for Ralph Macho. Yeah, uh, old school, <laughs> old school mindset. Like, but I was the only guy cheering for when he's on Dance of the Stars. Trip, trip, trip. <laughs> <laughs> Susan says, what is your problem with Ralph Macho? It was all the Karate Kid, that's why. He's probably a nice guy if he's to meet him and everything like that. Yeah, I assume so. But sometimes a movie will stick with you. Like, The Outsiders, I didn't even like him in The Outsiders. I just don't, I, don't, I probably wouldn't like him. I don't know. He probably would hate me too. He'd probably just, he'd probably beat me up. He'd probably yeah, he give looks, me that crane kick. And he looks more of a clean cut guy, you know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, you just, really? I just can never get past his mom trying to do the good thing for him and him whining at her all the time. Ah, but whatever, I'm all over the place because I'm super tired. So yeah, like, so you work, you you tag with this werewolf. That's, oh, werewolf, that's, Team that's Twilight, we <laughs> and then uh, and then I tagged with a vampire on on a Sunday in Charleston, South Carolina. Kevin Thorne. By what? Oh, Kevin Thorne. Kevin Thorne. Yeah, he was back. He tore a bicep, and uh, he said he was going to retire. He's going to come back in and do a couple more matches, and uh, he came back. But uh, when we tagged, I think I think. I think he unretired. I think he's gonna do some more matches. I think, I think he's gonna um, keep wrestling, maybe. Uh, but it was fun. Good house. They, they, they four or five hundred oh, uh, cool. in Charleston. They always do good. They're old school championship wrestling. They had, they had the Tokyo Monster on the show. He's in there now. Frankie uh, Siatsu is always there. Uh, I don't even know if I say his name right. Siatsu, Siatsu, Frankie. Siatsu. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, it's got some good guys there. Uh, one of the guys I think you probably wrestled before. I, I just call him a Ninja Turtle. Uh, him and his girl Danny Mo. 
Oh yeah, I haven't I haven't worked him. The the, the yeah, but he's cool like that. Yeah, the neon ninja. Neon uh, ninja is that what it's called? Yeah. Uh, facade. Facade. Yeah. So it's strange. We stay in this house. So like. Oh really? All right. Yeah. Like the the promoter has this like six bedrooms. It's a nice house, right? So we'll go there. They're like family. They'll cook you dinner and everything. And uh, so like I'm the only one that has a flight like at five thirty six a.m. Like uh, a Tokyo Monster Kahagas did, but he was at a hotel. But like it's four a.m. and and. I gotta get up to go to the airport, so like oh, nobody's yeah. ever up. Uh, they're up if they're up. They're drinking, like they're still like partying because they'll be out by the pool or whatever. They're just having good times, but usually four a.m. There's nobody in the shower, and I get up at four. I gotta take the shower to go to the airport. I say like, somebody's in the shower, and it's not like for like five minutes or ten minutes. The water's running for like twenty minutes, and I'm like, I finally like I, I knock on the door, and then I hear the curtain in the shower move, but like or something, but like nobody answers. Man, it's like a half hour now. I got to leave like by 5 a.m. And I'm like, I got to get a shower. Finally, I hear the water stop and everything. I'm like, I'm thinking like, is this Crazy Steve? Because Crazy Steve works there, you know, from oh, Crazy man. Steve and Rosemary yeah, and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that Crazy Steve was staying in the house, but like, he said he had an early flight, but not that early. So I'm thinking, it's got to be Crazy Steve. So I'm like, I finally go knock on the door again. Cause I, I don't want to be rude, but I got to get going. I don't know who's going to be in there. And he just like cr- creeps the door open like a vampire. I want to, what's up? I'm like, Bro, I gotta get in the shower. He goes, okay, a few minutes. He closes the door back. Who <laughs> was it? The, the Neon Ninja. The facade. Oh, I don't facade. know what he was doing in the bathroom. Like, I don't know. He's got a woman. His woman was with him in the bedroom. He could have yeah, went. Yeah, I don't know yeah. what he was doing to himself in there all that time. Like, I mean, I know I take long showers, but if that shower's more than 20 minutes, there's something else going on in there. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, so, I'm not saying anything or spreading rumors, but I'm wondering what he was doing in there. Like, I like, mean, a neon ninja. He's like, he's That's playing right. with a sword or something. <laughs> all, like. Well, maybe he was. He has a particular hair. Maybe he was washing it. I don't know. I don't know, but, but when I see him again at the show, I'm gonna ask him. But, but, but I did not want to ask the man when he's just peeping around the corner, going, "Just a minute." Like, it was like so weird. He closed the door back. Like he slid back in. But you, it was like something out of a movie. Like are you chopping did bodies. Did you get to use the shower there? afterwards? Yeah, yeah, I went in there, but I did, but, but, did, but but I went in there cautiously. Did it smell okay? Like the- uh, <laughs> it was steam, so the water was hot. Like he was using hot water. I was worried it was gonna be cold water after they'd been in the whole time, but the water was still warm. But I did look at the drain, make sure there was nothing clotted up in here, right. or anything in the shower. Looked around, I checked the waste basket to make sure it wasn't balled up napkin, you know, uh, tissues in there or something, because I had no idea what he was doing. In yeah. there. but it was something suspect. You know, I don't know. Maybe he was freebasing or something. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, it's either that or he was playing with a sword. I, I don't know which one it was, but it was that damn ninja in there, facade for sure. It was in there. And, but when I when I get to, I, uh, I'm back there in December, December fourth. I'll ask him or third or whenever I'm back there. I know I'm, I got a show in December. I, I'll probably see him again. I'm gonna say two. Sometimes we, I'm not sure if he's booked with us because sometimes some, when we when we run our Nashville shows, he comes. Mm. Are you coming to the next one in November? No. No. I, uh, my last CCW show is Port St. Lucie coming up. Port St. Lucie. Your last? You're retiring from CCW? Well, I'm going to go make money. Go wrestle. Right. Right, right. I got other shows. <laughs> <laughs> no, I still saw the last one. Like, I had uh, next week. the two shows, and then I had the match with you. So it's the one, two to lead up to that. And then I'm not booked. Let's. Unless I'm home and there's like a breakout or something, you know, right. and I do them. But that's the last one I'm booked for, like on the books on a yeah. Saturday, you know, like for a Saturday. Because I'm usually like this October coming up, I'm um, my schedule's like crazy. Like I'll do Port St. Lucie, you know, I'll get back home and I have a 5 a.m. flight to I'm in in, in uh, uh, Virginia that uh-huh. day. Then I come back, and then I'm okay that week, that Monday something. But like, like going into October. I have shows Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm flying home Monday, getting back on a plane Tuesday to L.A., uh, doing a taping in L.A., fly back, uh, teach class to Wednesday to Thursday, th- Wednesday night, Thursday night, or if I get back in time, Wednesday night. Then I got shows Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Come home Monday, I land, and then I get back on a plane and go back to LaGuardia. I'm coming from Newark because I already got the flight. If the, and uh-huh. land Monday and get back on the plane Tuesday and go to LaGuardia on, and, and do a virtual Come back, then I'm back out Friday, Saturday, Sunday again. Like it's all the way through to to uh, November. Uh, then I'm in like the last part of it. The month is I'm in I'm in. Um, what about your vacation? I'm in, uh, yeah, that's mid November. Like I, oh. I, 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 I'm gonna say it here. I'm not gonna go to Panama because I don't think it's gonna happen anyways. Panama. They've already canceled me once. So. Oh really? Yeah. So I think uh, my vacation starts the twentieth November. Okay. So I think on the nineteenth gonna do tryouts so if you're listening and you're looking to become a professional wrestler you're gonna uh, ccw is gonna be holding the 
the tryouts. I don't know the details on it. If it'll be like, uh, I don't know if it's a hundred or hundred and fifty dollars. It'll go mm -hmm. towards your tuition. But they're gonna give away like a scholarship yes. to somebody. They're gonna do some. So they're gonna be doing open tryouts that November weekend. So I'll do that on the nineteenth and then twentieth. I jump on the ship and then go. But but I'm busy right up to that. Like just this is like this. The schedule is like crazy insane. So. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm not yeah. complaining, but I'm tired now. Thinking like, oh yeah. man, they haven't even like uh, haven't even kicked in yet. The the, the running I gotta do, but yeah, sounds, it'll balance out because great. I'm used to doing the school. The thing about flying though is because well, people listening can't see this, but but if you're watching, this is me flying. <laughs> I am not awake on those planes. As long as I have a window seat on the F side, it's got to be on the F side, so my right shoulder has oh, to touch right, the wall. Right, right. Like, here's the weird thing is I get upgraded a lot the first class. A lot of times, I don't want to get upgraded. Uh, you prefer to Because, because I can't sleep. Like, the first class, the seat doesn't, yeah. I can't touch the, I can't touch my shoulder on the wall to lay my head and get any sleep. So, I sit up awake, and then I'm sitting up going, oh, I'm trying to be good, but the alcohol is free, and I'm like, oh, Do you use yeah, a pillow? Just give me a vodka tonic, you know? Do you use a pillow or just you? No, I, I mean, I might have to go to the pillows, because I've been getting up, because I get, a, I, like, platinum on uh, american so i've been getting upgraded a lot and like I, the sleep's important to me it's more important than the free food oh yeah the service in first class For is sure. the sleep so I'm, I'm i'm gonna have to try the pillow i have I, I used to but i just don't like to carry a lot of stuff like um but uh, i might have to get one maybe one you blow up yourself before you get on <laughs> Up, upgrade and get the pillow sit over there like you know. but uh, yeah so i got a really busy schedule but i'm looking forward to the cruise uh the cruise is gonna go to the Bahamas, and then you get a day in the Bahamas, nice. and then you cruise over to Jamaica, so you got a day in Jamaica, and then to Haiti, which I think it's just their own little island, because yeah. I can't imagine, like, the things Lakai told me about Haiti, I don't I don't think I'm going to go run around yeah, Haiti no, like, yeah. for a holiday, um, unless I was with the church or something, trying to do, do missionary work right. or something. Uh, and then just cruise all the way back home, so basically, uh, I probably got to drop 20 pounds so I can put it back on on the cruise ship <laughs> start over. So I'll be at zero, ground zero when I land again, you know, because um, uh, that's all you do is eat, right, on the cruise? Have I you done it? So I've never been into a cruise. Never. Well, we went on one, only one. It was Christmas time. Like, So we're doing this one over Thanksgiving. This will be over Thanksgiving holiday, the, the Thanksgiving. But last one we did over Christmas, and uh, we were there. But it was like uh, 17 foot waves. The ocean, they, they couldn't even dock the boat in the Bahamas because the water was so rough. A storm had came through. Mm. So like, uh, all we did is we're stuck on the ship, but there was no sunshine. No, it was raining. So all we did was eat and sleep. Like eight, eight o'clock at night, <sighs> out, barely getting up at eight in the morning, going, oh. I'm so tired and I was sleep some more like I just slept for like three straight days oh that's not bad no no but it was a lot of money just to go sleep yeah. <laughs> sleep and eat sleep and eat sleep and eat I put on about 10 pounds and, and, and but I was well rested when I got off of it so what do you got some stuff you know on? yeah I was, did, well, you get, did you get to watch some uh, wrestling that, stuff no I did not I, I just I landed yesterday uh, around I got, I got home around 1.30 I had to drive Anna to uh her work for something and I went straight to the school and then I got home last night and uh, I was like uh, I, I was not conscious I, so, I, Raw was on and I think I seen Bailey working somebody yes, uh, maybe Liv Morgan or something and uh, look at, and it was Bianca Belair was out there because I never miss Bianca yes. uh, when she's out there like you can't miss Bianca like and then uh, did you uh, well do you do, do you know what's happening in um, Crown Jewel South Oh, I didn't even know they're Saudi doing Arabia. a Saudi Arabia show. They're doing a Saudi Arabia. They're doing a Saudi Arabia. You know what's the main event? You. Oh, I wish. <laughs> I wish. No. Don't Ro say Undertaker. Cause Roman Reigns versus Logan Paul. Oh, oh, you know what? Is that what people are talking about? Yeah. I keep seeing stuff pop up, but yeah, I didn't some, read it. Like, like. So the... the um, Wrestling. It's funny we were just talking about Logan. Logan Paul's good. But I, like, think it's, uh, I think like, it's great, and, yeah. I'm, and I'm actually excited for this match. But... A lot of uh, the uh, uh, smart wrestling fans, fans yeah, yeah. they are complaining about uh, Logan Paul skipping the line to get a title shot. Uh, who did he skip? I don't know. Like who's? I, I don't know who's in line. Did Roman Reigns just beat. Uh, he already he already beat Jeff Seth Gallo, Rollins, McIntyre. Drew. Uh, uh, he beat uh, Kevin Owens. Who else? Like he's been the champion for two years now. So, so who did he skip? Bobby Lashley, Brock Lesnar. A couple times. Maybe, maybe, who'd he skip then? Who'd he skip, Raymond? Anybody he skip? I don't know who next. who's next in line. 
Uh, Johnny Gargano or something? Or who'd he skip? Uh, no, Bobby Lashley. Yeah, he has some Facebook. Bobby Lashley is, is a U.S. Yeah. champion. Austin Theory? Yeah, I mean, I mean, but it's gotta be a face. You know, you're looking more, more likely a face to take on Roman, right? So, is Logan Paul a face now? Like, yeah, he was. They are trying. Like, he skipped the so Miz. I, I was there for SummerSlam when he worked the Miz. Yeah, and he was getting baby, baby face reactions. Well, but now when he came out on SmackDown to cut a promo on on Roman, he got a he got booed because they probably don't feel he's a true wrestler and put his time in. It's probably yeah. I, and, I mean, and of course, and then then Paul E came out, uh, Paul Heyman. Came out to cut a promo on him, yeah. and of course people love Paul Heyman because he's a legend. Yeah. He's funny Fine. and entertaining. Yeah. But I, I, I suppose there's a few ways to look at it. Uh, as a wrestler and somebody that's probably lo- I spend more time in a wrestling school than the average person, and I yes. watch everybody coming up, and I watch people travel through the things. Yes, maybe, maybe they they, they got a point. Like, oh, uh, yeah, you didn't put you didn't blood, sweat, and tears and put yeah. time in, but. At the same time, I'm excited because he's athletic, he's entertaining, yeah. and if you can get the job done, you can get the job done. Like, if you're and he has, nah. correct me if I'm wrong, but he has like 30 million, how, how many followers he has on YouTube? Uh, 30. Yeah, 30 million. Like, yeah, but that's one of the reasons it probably drew their attention and stuff like course. that, but he is athletic, he, he, he excels at everything he does, I think he's a, he's a great athlete, and... Um, uh, Saudi Arabia, the, 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 maybe the, prim, the people running the thing wanted it, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like, what are you gonna do? That's I'm their sure. money. They're paying it. And you know? and and I think like every I get the fa- I get the fans' points though. Like, I understand. And the wrestlers, yeah. a lot of the wrestlers probably feel that way. It was probably the wrestlers saying stuff to these fans, <laughs> like, yeah. and and stuff as they work back and forth because like this generation seems to. Uh, they all seem to be one on one. Like before, nothing ever got leaked, and and you didn't know what was gonna happen. Like you could guess what was gonna happen, but now they they, they leak a main event. Like like and this an guy, hour later after they decide what's going on, somebody leaks it. So. And I think that Logan Paul gets the kind of first of all, he attracts a very because I didn't know who he was before he came to WWE. To be honest, like, or be, 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 no, I started being aware of him when he started doing the boxing match. Who's his brother? What's his brother's name? Uh, Paul. Logan Paul. Uh, something. Paul. You know, he goes to uh, Dr. Silva's Ultra Wellness. Oh, really? Uh, the PRP and stuff in the knees and stuff. Yeah. So I'm hoping I get a little bit of that talent and money. <laughs> like, and, and he has a very young, he attracts a very young demographic that it's now watching WWE right now. So mm-hmm. I think it makes sense. And the other thing is that he went to the because they did a press conference him and Roman in in Las Vegas because the fight of Canelo and GGG <laughs> was happening there in in Vegas uh, mm-hmm. last uh, Saturday so he got uh he got interviewed by the media after the fight oh would you fight Canelo and he was like no right now i'm concentrated on my match with Roman Reigns blah blah so he's he's putting over the product with outside media and I think that that that's yeah. always going to help the it's company valuable, yeah. so yeah the followers are valuable does he look like a superstar he you? looks great does his gear look nice yeah does he do crazy athletic things yes yeah uh, have you seen him have a bad match yet not yet there you go yeah. not sure. <laughs> so neither yeah. is the office neither is whoever's and looking I'm, that stuff and I'm pretty sure right that's how they're looking at it you know and the, and, and in this case like Roman is an elite well, the, like he's like he's one of the best yeah. right now, and he can carry Logan. Like and and and, and Lo, I mean, the Miss carried Logan Paul right. to a great match. The Miss. All right, who who's better, Lawrence Miss. Taylor or Logan Paul? I think Logan Paul. Oh, exactly, a hundred percent. Bam Bam Bigelow had to carry Lawrence. Yeah, Taylor. yeah, yeah. Any any athlete that's come from the outside in, Logan Paul is the most legitimate. I think at, at, at excelling in this generation. And where wrestling is now, he's, 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 I don't have a problem with it at all. I, I get, though, where other people are saying they're skipping their favorite wrestler, the, the guy that they've, you know, we all have our MVP or our favorite all-star, you know, or somebody we love behind. You have, you know, football, you like football, you probably have a yes. uh, corner guy. You, some things your favorite. If he doesn't get on the national team, you're, like, really upset if they, yes, they take always. somebody over popularity. And that's probably a lot what it is, but it doesn't mean that, that guy that's there, it doesn't deserve it too, you yeah. know. In, in another sense of whether it's athletic ability, the body, just the charisma, uh, maybe how they're looking at it, like you say, with the, the amount of followers and the outside press and stuff that is channeling in and and to the pro wrestling industry at, or to WWE in particularly. So, 
smart move, I think. And yeah, it, I, mean, I don't, I don't think it's bad at all. That's just my opinion. People may not agree with it. Like, and they're not gonna agree with the the seven creams and seven sugars I have in my coffee. But it's my coffee, you, so. I'm like, and you know what? I don't think he's beating Roman for the belt. So no, who cares? <laughs> in Saudi Arabia, probably not. But yeah, you never know in this crazy funky world. They, they're they're gonna shake things up. Hunter's not done. He's he's just starting. So um, yeah, they're gonna shake things up, and it's gonna get like something's gonna catch everybody out of. And no. out of left field, out of nowhere, and and, and they're all gonna have their jaws gonna drop. But he's gonna he's gonna do it. And I have faith in Hunter um, yeah. and um, in, in the product. Now that you mentioned Triple H, um, now um, that he was asked if he was he was gonna bring now now that he in, under his administration, if he was gonna bring back the blood, the blade jump to the right. to WWE. And um, Wait, before we go to that topic, what going back to. Uh, the, the Logan topic you mentioned that like Saudi Arabia they probably requested it, it that, that is the reason why they booked it it's, that it's, it's not because of like ticket sales or yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's because um, the king they want a specific type of publicity huh? in Saudi Arabia so that's why they there you go well, there you go so Saudi Arabia asked for it so get mad at Saudi Arabia don't get mad at WWE <laughs> 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 they need the money they gotta fund yeah, you gotta pay these athletes and entertainers and, and your bills and your and everything else. So, like, you somebody asked Triple H if they're going to bring back. Yeah, uh, if he was uh, going to bring back blood, blood, blood. and Sangre. he said, "I'm just of the opinion right now, given the state of the world and the pandemic, and at the end of the day, what we do is dangerous enough without intentionally making it more dangerous. Yes, yeah. we did use blood for a long period of time, yeah. but we've changed that practice, and it's irresponsible to go back." Right. So he's saying that. No. Yeah, you know that you don't need the blood because the health reasons, this and that, and and, mm -hmm. and we already high risk for all the injuries and stuff. There's no need to risk hepatitis and other things like that, HIV. or or even with the COVID, like people like I was worried about spraying my blood all the time. Like yeah, maybe they wouldn't want it because you know you're you're spraying and it's a mist in the air. Who who knows? Like it's carrying this. It could be quick questionable, but bleeding. And, yeah, I don't think there's no need for it. I I think it ha happens accidentally enough and, and yeah. Um, Maybe maybe a big blow off angle and I mean AW I mean, like John Moxley does it <laughs> every other match. Yeah, I don't know sure if it's the hard way or if he does it like just does it to himself. I don't know. It seems like every time I see him doing a promo, he's bleeding out of ear yeah. or, or something like, like. And I'm like, I didn't see the match because I'll just see a clip of something. I go, did he just beat his shit? What is going on here? So yeah. maybe maybe it's working for whatever he does. But there's enough blood in AEW for everywhere. But anybody talking about AEW now? Is anything cleared up from all this shakedown from the The Young Bucks and CM Punk and Tony Khan. Is there any news or updates on any of that? Uh, on, I, I've really been out of touch this whole week. No, no, no. I mean, the 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 only guys who are still suspended are the the Young Bucks, Omega, A Steel, and uh, Punk. Hmm. The rest of the guys that were suspended, I think, they lifted their suspension. Right, like Chris Daniels and and, and yeah. different guys that are probably the, trying to break yeah. things up and, and and yeah, like I found and um. So uh, Triple Mania from Triple the Triple the big Triple A show Triple was coming A. up, and um, Kenny Omega was going to be in the main event, and they took him off the show because he of AW, yeah, other shows. AW yeah, with got the him. Right. Hmm. So think he'll stay. Think Kenny Omega stay. Think he's gonna go. I thought I heard rumors that he's gonna leave. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. He's, CM Punk stays or is he gone? He's hurt. He's out. So, but I think they're bringing him back as soon as he's healed. I think CM Punk. I mean, but I don't know if, if he. Uh, maybe we're in a. They're in a position where it's like it's either Punk or the Elite, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, well, what about the like, rumors? The I think elite, Tony Tony is going to have talking to uh, WWE. They're not they're, 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 CM Punk. No, the Elite. The Elite. Oh, I think that that can happen. I don't mm -hmm. know. I don't know how how their relationship is with Cody right now, and uh, because that that would. Be yeah. like, interesting, but, interesting but, times. People are watching and listening for AEW, but for all the wrong reasons. Yeah. <laughs> it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be all your tension on all your backstage drama and all, 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 all the that kind of stuff. It should be for your but they have television huge, product and 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 they had a, a very good like I I watched the last Dynamite and uh, Jericho and Brian Danielson had a great freaking match. Wow. Great wow. match. Two great workers. Two great workers. Yes. Mm. So. And um, and now it's it's gonna be Moxley versus uh, 
Daniel uh, Ryan Danielson for the the fight. What do they call the, the Fight Club or the Blackpool Blackpool Combat Club? Combat Club for the um, Club. for the world title. Was that put Steven right Regal in the middle there? Yeah, it's, it's, like the, yeah, kind of the mentor it's gonna for be them? yeah, it's gonna be William Regal on a pole match. No, I don't. <laughs> and uh, and uh, then it's Chris Jericho, like because they're having their their big stadium show in in New York in Queens. In, oh, the, Ash, in the uh, Arthur Ashe. Arthur Ashe Stadium. Arthur Ashe. And, and you know who Arthur Ashe was, right? Tennis player. I yes, 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 of course. That's where black, they black that, that's player, where they play yeah. the U.S. Open. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yes, and um, Raymond didn't know though. Oh no, because he, Raymond didn't know there was a black. 500. Oh, really? Uh, well, the thing is that they have this huge show and, and the card looks pretty solid. Yeah. It's They have the the Claudio Castagnoli defending the Ring of Honor belt versus uh, Chris Jericho. Mm -hmm. That should be a great match too. Claudio, Cla both great great workers. And uh, the Acclaimed is working uh, Swerve and uh, Keith Lee for the title ma for the titles for the tag team titles. Should be good. That also should be good. And uh, I don't remember what else, but those those matches are the so so I think they're like with this these good cards and these good matches that they've been having, they are like s like slowly turning the page on on the whole elite. Punk mm, moving forward, stuff. Yeah, they're moving forward, and so the, I think that's uh, good uh -oh. for them. Good for the uh, good for the wrestling business too, because wow, dumb, dumb. Guess it, time will tell, and we'll see. Like, I guess I still there's still there's still no um I guess there's no uh no final investigation outcome yet. Like, so. No, waiting to hear for that. So uh, the, the story continues and the drama carries on. So what else we got going on? So AEW, you said they're starting, they're turning the corner with some yeah. good matches and pushing forward. And uh, yeah, we, WWE, WWE seems to be like going the right direction. Maybe. Yeah, and the veter the veterans mm -hmm. are in in AEW are stepping up. You know, Chris Jericho is doing a great work. Moxley is doing a great work. Brian Dennis is doing a great great job too. Like, you know, they they are stepping up. Like, okay, we lost these guys. They're not here now. But, well, it's so more TV carrying. time for them. Better, yes. spot, like. They shouldn't be upset at all. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, yeah, sure. They're probably going, oh, hell yeah. Like, but they grab... Uh, what you I mean love like, wrestling, you love wrestling, yes. you want to be on TV, you know, you want to you want to be out there doing your thing, that's what you're there for. I mean, there's a lot of... like The thing with AEW is the guy would be on one week and you wouldn't see him for three weeks and then he'd be back. So now, with mm -hmm. like more spots open, you'll be able to... Hopefully they stick to... Well, they have been getting better doing storylines and having people on them. But uh, they still got to... They, they still got to clean house a little bit more and... Clear it out, and then they'll, they'll be on the right. They'll get, there. they'll get there. Did you get to to see the PWI 500? No. I heard people talking about it. I've seen people posting, and I, I didn't see it. I'm, uh, I don't know if it's I – always, I always go back and forth. I don't know how legit they are. I, I, I quit look watching the 500. I used to look at it and watch it, and I would see, like I, – I knew somebody personally that – a Florida guy that would make up wrestlers, mm -hmm. send in stuff, and they would be ranked in like the four hundreds, and like they never were not even a real person, it wasn't even That's a real. So when they proved to me that, I kind of lost faith in it. Like yeah, it's kind of hard for like uh, for anyone to to be in touch with like everything that's happening in the world of pro wrestling right, right now. Like there's right. a lot of companies working there. So I, I mean, I maybe I would go with the top twenty. Maybe right. I would think that's yeah credible because they're, they're, they're Did, top, like. Do you like know the top ten? Like, do you want me to no, read the? I don't top, know the top. 10. Okay, the top ten is this: is uh, number one, it's Roman Reigns, makes sense. Popularity wise, yeah. Number two, Kasuchika Okada. Okada, okay, he's the rainmaker guy, right? Yes. All right. Number three, CM Punk. Number four. Three. Adam Page. Adam Page is four? Yes. Up that high with everybody? I don't, okay. I don't know. Five Bobby. No, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm, five Bobby. Hangman Adam Page. Yeah, Hangman okay. Adam Page. Right. Five, Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley. Uh. Six is Cody. Cody Rhodes? Yes. <laughs> Seven is uh, Brian Danielson. Eight is Hijo del Vikingo, I think, right? I'm not sure what that is. You, you just put Hijo del. But I think it's Vikingo. And uh, nine is Big E, and number ten is Jonathan Gresham. Big E was number nine. Yeah, 
Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, no, no, no. I like Big E, but I, I don't see him as number nine or or, or Gresham. Uh, uh, there's a lot of other wrestlers there. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I, I don't, I don't see Hangman Page over Brian Danielson. Yeah, I see, Mo- like. I see Moxley. Moxley should be here. Should be in the top ten, I think, maybe. And uh, my, well, the way they banked the company around him, yeah. Was of course Chris Jericho was it in there? Chris Jericho's not in the top ten. No. Yeah, it's weird, but it, it's like. From what I hear, I don't know how this how this uh, things work, but uh, apparently it's like a mixture of kayfabe and the fans voting. No, 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 the fans voting, but like so wins gives mm-hmm. you more points on the on oh, the PWI okay. and uh, victories, you know, and title reigns. But it's also like how their work, how they pers- how the particular PWI guys. Okay perceive the, the the guy's work you know like but that's very subjective okay right? anybody you know made it the top 500 uh, uh jay vidal and uh well, and Jaden newman who's a guy i worked in nashville for okay. the last show mm. uh, well, jay, jay jay made it in the top 500 huh? yeah jay he's Vidal, like for, jay yeah Good you're for. your boy well yeah i trained him but but I, I don't know. I just don't have a lot of faith in that top 500. Like, I mean, I just over the years, once somebody showed me people that didn't even exist that were in there, it was kind of like, you're like, ah, what do you do with that? But, but maybe they've given it more credibility. Or this was, you know, a few years back. I'm talking like, this was like eight years ago or 10 years ago. Somebody showed me this, and I was just kind of like, and then I would see guys that I go, uh, oh, I've only worked, that I know personally, probably done. Mm-hmm. Four matches in a year, and and they would be in there, and I'd be like, this is kind of crazy. So I'm not crapping on it. I'm sure it's probably changed what? and evolved now because things, the stats and people. What, what has been your things. highest? You know what has been your highest ranking in the in the PWI? I've never. I don't think I'm in there. I don't. Uh, not not but, not this year, but when you were like when you were working the WWE. Maybe? I I don't. <laughs> this is gonna sound funny. Like I'm being like. Uh, I don't think it was legitimate after after sold it like, like mm-hmm. when he that was in 93 like and I was a rookie of the year in 93 PWI rookie of the year yes in 1993 <clears throat> that would probably be I don't know if I I don't know if I was ranked or not I was just rookie of the year Vampire right Wire wins the award thanks to winning the USWA heavyweight championship and holding the belt for just over a month yeah. he had a lengthy feud with Jeff Jarrett over the championship to really stand out from anyone else in the category in the category Robbie Eagle didn't accomplish much of anything during the year, mainly competing as a jobber for the SMW right. promotion. I, right. So look, like if I remember right, and I, I'm trying, I have a really bad memory. I was like, I was rookie of the year, but I didn't beat, like Robbie Eagle was probably the most competitive. Then it was like maybe the Cole twins, uh, somebody else. I'm like, um, really, <laughs> I don't know. I was just, I think I just got lucked into that, but they sold 93 or 94. They, I think they sold PWI. And, and other people started running it. It wasn't uh, uh, Bill Apter anymore. Maybe he has something to do with it now again. I have no idea. Bill Apter is a great guy. He's, he's amazing. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know now. Maybe the stats are more legitimate now because you said they're keeping track of wins and losses mm-hmm. and different things. So, But it, it still comes down to stats that people are sending in, too. Like like you said, yeah, you, you have can't keep track of everything. So, like, how accurate can that be? And, and I'm happy for J. Vidal. And, and I'm not bitter. I, I, no. I assume I'm, I'm not in there. I don't think I've been in it for a while. If I did, somebody would have told me. Um, I think it's but, a good <clears throat> promotional stuff to have. I mean, I don't know. It's cool to say, like, you're yeah, in the world. Maybe. Like, yeah, it's very cool. Yeah. Of course, if if I would have been in the top five hundred, I would be milking the shit out of it. <laughs> of course, like it makes sense. Ah, well, well, good for for. Uh, I I know he said he told me he was in it, so I knew he was in it. He was super happy, and I, I said, Je- yeah. And I asked him, "Do you think it's legitimate?" Because please don't rain on my parade. Yeah. Like, so I'm going. I'm not trying. Yeah. To rain on. Yeah, I just yeah, just yeah. I I don't know. I just don't hold a lot of. I I don't know how you value somebody because I may see somebody like like I think Brian Danielson should be higher ranked over than some of the other people in there and yeah, somebody else sees it another way and then if you say they're going by it's a very it's stats and numbers and wins it's then a they very see it another way so weird, it's, 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 it's hard but congratulations to everybody that's in there i'm super yeah. happy it, like it's not you know you mentioned and it, it's ranked you're good that's it's that's awesome so but uh, I, di- I didn't keep track of it though or anything so that was the top 10 that was it that was the top 10 yes is I there th- any other do they still do like rookie of the years and stuff like that or that's still a thing or, or I mean yeah probably we could we could check uh, PWI 
Raymond, do you know? No. You don't know? I'm like, all right, so, well then, I'm just curious, like, I don't, I don't know, they, they still do all that, like, it used to be a magazine that dedicated, the whole magazine. Oh, they still do it? They yeah. Still, they still have it? Because I don't think I should have got rookie of the year. Like, I'd already been wrestling six years. How do you get, like, rookie of the year? <laughs> like, so I started in 87, and that was 93. So how many years is that? 88, 89, 99, 92, 93. Like, six years, right? So, so like, the list is the 2021 or the 2022? This one just came out last week. But that's the 2021? It's called the 2021 award or the 2022? It'd be 2021 rookie of the year is probably. Or, because or if PWI it, or if it 500. Is, because I know the last one rookie, the last rookie, rookie of the year was Jade Cargill. Who? Jade Cargill. The girl. The, oh, Jade Cargill. Oh, so that's recent then. Yeah. 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 I think she's the, she's the, uh, the winner. Okay. So okay. That, Do you remember anything about that feud with Jeff Jarrett at the time for winning the belt? No. I don't, I don't remember my full name half the time. Remember, post remember 1993, 92. That was probably more 92. Uh, was it? Was I already been in Puerto Rico? It was 90, 93. Yeah, 93. Um, do I remember anything about the feud with Jeff Jarrett? Uh, <laughs> uh, well, time I got to Memphis, I, I, I have to rewind and go back. So. Was trained here with Boris Malenko and Rusty in South Florida, mm -hmm. and then I went from here to Calgary, Alberta, and trained in the, the dungeon with the Hearts, right, with Bruce Hart and stuff. So when I went to Calgary, it, it, they shifted my style to a faster, more aggressive style, a uh, little bit more snug and believability. So from there, I went to all Japan, where I was a kid that didn't know anything and didn't belong there, with grown ass men trying to murder me like like Kawada, Masawa, Hanson, Spike, oh. like uh Williams and Gordy and and, and um you know Crawford and Furnace and 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 dudes that just been wrestling their, their, uh, Gordy and Williams people that just been wrestling their whole lives 30 years and stuff I'm like a year or two in and I'm over there like learning so uh so that was all Japan so uh, yes like uh, uh that it was intense too so like so like so slowly started evolving like i went to calgary and it was a faster aggressive style where the japan was fighting for my life and then from there i went to puerto rico which uh was a very aggressive mm -hmm. uh physical style down the there so kind of so i went from there so i spent a year in puerto rico and from puerto rico i ended up in in uswa now i get the uswa it is is not <laughs> aggressive style. It's a very much a worker style, like a pro wrestling, the, the art of pro wrestling, and telling a story and and everything. It's, it's Tennessee. So when I get there, I've already like forgotten how I was trained originally because I went through all these phases and I get I get to Memphis. So like Scotty Taylor, he didn't talk to me. Like he, I, I didn't know what was going on. I was doing matches in Memphis and Jeff Jarrett would only he he'd have me hold them in a headlock and. Now, I would work Lawler. I would just tear into Lawler, whatever. Lawler, Jerry Lawler would say nothing. We'd get through the matches. He'd be like, thank you. He'd never say anything. Um, I'd work Jeff Jarrett, and he'd only have me work a headlock. Like, I'm literally, I'd go, I would say to Luna, I said, I don't, I don't know. Uh, Jeff just has me hold a headlock all the time in the heat. She goes, I don't know. Did you make him mad or anything? I go, I don't know what I've done. All I know is he just, he just calls a headlock. I work a headlock. Oh, he just goes, oh, you know, I don't know. You got to figure it out. You know, like, she didn't have an answer because it's obviously there's something wrong. Something, right. something, something, something's not going on if you're just working a headlock. But it is Memphis, and you know, and then uh, one day, so I, I was just trying to figure it out. One day I see Scotty Taylor, um, Scotty Too Hotty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's on the side of the road. His car's broke down, and and I, I like, uh, I, I, I try to pick him up. And I, I think I've told this story on here a few times, and I try to pick him up, and he's like, I'm, I'm good. I go, man, your car's broke down on the side of the road. Get on in. No, I'm, I'm fine. I'm like real nasty. I'm like, what the hell is his problem? Say, man, you want to be stuck out here or what? Like, we're like, I don't know where it was or whatever. He, and he, and he, he says, fine. He finally gets in. I'm like, you all right, man? You know, like, I, I didn't know what was going on with him. You know, I thought maybe he's mad about his car. Like, I, I, I get upset and stop breaks on my, you right. know, like I'm stuck on whatever. You know, Memphis, you're not making any money. Your car's broke down. You're stuck on the side of the road. But he just finally said, man, you're killing everybody. I go, what, what do you mean? Like so, my debut in Memphis it was uh, it was Jerry Lawler was like working Brian Christopher or somebody or something, right? What a, I 
at my debut, I, I slide in and, and I start beating on Jerry Lawler. And um, he's not even supposed to get blood. On, they're not even supposed to bleed on him if it's TV anymore. They had, like said, there's no bleed. Yeah. But he, Jerry Lawler, he, he got blood. He was bleeding. And they sent people to break it up. Well, they would send people in randomly. And Scotty Too Hotty, Scott Taylor was one of the guys they sent in. And I would just be like, well, wow. And back chop them and boom and just throw them out and so apparently i like i like just destroyed everybody that came in there and then like they were just all like you were too stiff just, just too stiff like it was just too much of a, an aggression style and everything which and puerto rico was fighting for my life nobody right. told me anything different you know i was just it, it just seemed the norm and i thought i was working lighter i thought i was being a lot kinder than i was in puerto rico but puerto rico is another whole long story I explained the miscommunications there too was one day when we have time but um so i go i'm listening to him and i go oh shit man i'm sorry because <laughs> like, like, it all kind of dawned on me i go Holy crap! I am murdering people, like you know, because I did know how to work. I was trained uh, right, uh, right way, very much, uh, very southern style of wrestling. I was trained originally, you know, mm -hmm. I was trained by Rusty and Boris Malenko. Now Boris Malenko taught. Uh, he always taught think, shoot, but work. Like uh -huh. so, if you do the move, make it, it. It's a legitimate move that if somebody tries it at home, that they, it, it'll hurt. You know, it'll hurt yeah. them if they try it, but you work it. You know what I mean? So think, shoot, but work. So. So I had all that. I was trained. It was my first first school of training. Well, then everything evolved as I went to Calgary and then all Japan and then Puerto Rico. So the time I came back around to Memphis, I was just like, wow, I'd come in with a chop and kick, you know. You know, I was laying everything, you know, not hurting people. But no, like, but. But they weren't, they weren't fancying that every night of the week, you know. And so Scotty, and I said, oh, I'm sorry, man. I, I didn't get it. And then from there on, I lightened up. And so. Uh, and then I worked, and the next thing you know, I wasn't in headlocks anymore. I was putting heat on people. I just went. I wish they would have just said, "Hey, man, you're being stiff." You right. Know? I had to go through this process to figure it out myself because I really wasn't even thinking about it, you know. And then this is just the levels of learning. So that's why, uh, like when I'm training at the schools and stuff, like I, I, I try to teach the kids like through my mistakes because you, you you do overlook it. They may not know what they're doing. That's why uh, even when I'm hurting, sometimes I, I have to get in there and feel what they're doing mm. uh, in the ring and stuff. And that's why I, I try to come back and I'll do the shows with them to feel what they're doing on shows because it's like what they what you think you're doing and what you're actually doing, sometimes you Sorry, don't know because you, you think you're doing one thing, but what you're actually doing is like hurting somebody or you know, or whatever the situation may be, you know. So um, I want to get in there and feel it and correct them. I don't want them to go through these long learning processes I had to do. I had to learn them throughout the territories and, and traveling through years. Right. If they can learn it in, in, in a year or two in a school, it's better for them. So like, yeah. But uh, yeah, that was like the work with Jeff. Like he would hold the headlock and I would just be like, this fucking guy, you know, like, every day, get it again, like, blah, blah, get it again, you know, I'd work the hell out of that headlock. I was probably killing them on that too, you know, yeah. I was probably squeezing his head off and then, after I, I picked Scotty, or being Scotty, I've been great friends since that day, you know, but he, he wouldn't even get in the car. I had to beg him to get in the car. We you sit out here on the side of the road with a bro guy. I had no idea what was wrong with him. I thought he was just mad about his car. Turns out he was mad at me. Because <laughs> like, he, if I remember right, if you go back and look at that video, I, I think it's on YouTube or something, you'll see me just give him a big back chop right between the shoulder blades. Wow. <sighs> Everybody hates those, you know. Yeah. Usually only pricks will give you those or people being assholes, you know. Um, but I wasn't trying to be a prick or an asshole. I just was. <laughs> I was just working the way I had gone through Calgary and Japan and Puerto Rico and then came full circle to there and I was like whoa so uh, I had to reel it back in because I didn't realize you know it's all part of the learning process you know I had different territories different styles and um, different workers different styles right. and uh, some people like a physicality some people like the art of looking like it's physical, you know, you know, like like I know that I when I watched the young talents today, a lot of it AEW or independence, these forearms back and forth in the jaw, oh, with yeah. their elbows. I'm like, they, they, just yeah. it. I'm thinking like, yeah, I'll take about one of those before I like like try to pull your eye out or something, you know, or I, I or I fire one back, and if you hit me with another one, then it's coming, you know, it's gonna, yeah. I'm gonna assume we're fighting, you know, because because you know the art of wrestling, no matter what, it's still an art, even even if it's a physical style, it's still an yeah, art, it's you know, it's still an art, yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, because you're going to work every night. Problem is, is these guys don't work every I, I, I listen to the guys at the school. that like, uh, I'm not going to call out the student. But they're like, hey, can you do match? Oh, I, uh, I kind of did myself in this weekend. I'm thinking, bro, I did like, th I threw three matches a weekend. What do you, 
they don't want to use anything that's gonna get me in trouble. I'd say some bad, but but like uh, fucking wussies, you know? <laughs> like, like, what are you doing? You gotta be doing something wrong in your match if you're hurting that bad. Come on yeah. Monday, like I, I get it. You go all out and you're leaving it all out in the ring, but that means you, something's wrong. Like to be that beat up after every weekend after a weekend, there's just something wrong. Like mm -hmm. either you're bumping the wrong way or the guy you're working is throwing you the wrong way or, or something because there's still an art to it even if it was physical you shouldn't be like crippled on monday tuesday was it oh, no. and the weekend and i think that's what happens with i mean even AEW. i don't think they have like they, they do tvs once a week but they started through the pandemic and all that these guys had to go the the, the six nights a week you know or five nights a week you got to figure it out because you you, you can't be you you, you get things are going to happen like you said, Hunter said that, that uh, it's dangerous enough as it is. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, you get tired, one wrong move, you, you can end up paralyzed. You know, I, I, I've seen it. I've seen two guys, two guys personally I know, um, paralyzed. One was Chuck uh, from the Rocker Dropper, and then there was there was uh, draws, draws, draws with the running power bomb from the corner. Um, both terrible, horrible things to be a part of or be there for. It's yeah. horrible, horrible feeling. Uh, and it wasn't even me. I couldn't even imagine. It. I did it. Like I. I my, I don't think I would have continued on in wrestling. I don't think I have that in me that I could have continued on knowing that I was a part of something, whether it was my fault or not. That whether it was totally their fault, I don't think I could have continued on. Right. I, I just that, like, so uh, you definitely got to, if you're hurting every week after shows, you got to figure it out. There's something going on, like, just got to be adjusted to be able to continue on, you know. Mm -hmm. But So I hear them, and they're all beat up, and I'm just like, oh, my goodness, guys, come on. Yeah, but, you know... Uh, uh, I don't ever remember being where I couldn't do like at ECW. I remember like uh -huh. after uh, working Dreamer, maybe I felt a little beat up in my ribs and stuff. But like we were beating each other with chairs and oh. and, and, and you know like pans and frying pan, getting sh weird things. And I I, uh, I can remember being like a little sore. And I can remember being like sore after some Japan stuff because the rings are really snug and like they'd power bomb the shit out of you. Like they like they like. Japan was very physical, but but I was able to continue on. It wasn't like oh god, I can't, you know. All right, okay. so I get this guy's nope, over there nope, throwing a no lasso up there, <laughs> like Wonder Woman. Um, no, we're right at the 56 all right, so or anything else you want to cover? We're we getting upcoming events. Do we got anything coming? No, well, when's the when's I'm, the when's the Saudi Arabia thing? November. Oh, it's November. That's a ways away still. Oh, but they're not complaining all about. It. Yeah, <laughs> I get it though. I do get get them complaining about. It. I I understand their point of view and. So we covered what we covered the PWI like PWI. now I want to be clear to everybody like before they even think I'm not knocking it I'm just saying yeah no. I'm not buying to, like some people say I don't believe the election I'm not gonna get into politics but they'll be but like yeah but but it's I pretty just, much just like don't people, know the people go crazy about uh, they Meltzer's like star rating system you know it's right. just one guy's opinion and the PWI it's like some hold on not one guy he's a wrestling historian well opinion okay. No, that's what they say in the documentaries and stuff. Yeah. Every time I see him pop on, well, well, like, but I mean, you know, yeah, yeah, and 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 the PWA same thing. It's very subjective, like right. like you're yeah. you're. I'm not against it. I would be flattered if I was in it. I, I would right. I would just like you no, said, like if I was in it, I'd be like, yeah, well, I was 300. Shut up. Yeah. But I'm probably not in it. I know I'm not in it. I'm sure somebody would have told me if I was in it. But um, I used to look at like like later like mm -hmm. after WWE when, after like when I was in England, I go. How do I not get in there when 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 I work like six nights a week, seven nights a week in England? Sometimes double shots. Some, but a lot of, I don't see any English guys in there hardly. Uh, it's the other thing, it's hard to cover the entire world. Well, yeah, wrestling. it's tough. So uh, just saying, I don't know how legitimate it is. When once somebody showed me, they put fictitious people in there. They, yeah, they, they got them in there because they submitted stuff. I just lost faith in it. Right. It took it for whatever. But I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy for Jay Vidal because I'm sure he is over the moon about it. He did text me and, and say, oh, look, oh, people, I'm 455 or something like that. Oh, it's <laughs> I go, 20. Something. I say, oh, four, it's 420? 425 something. Oh, 425. It's better than 455. All right, but what a, he was happy, though, and he worked hard. He took some chances. So so anybody's in there, congratulations. And Great. Super, super happy for you. And what else? Anything else you want to cover? Are you working this week? You got no, shows? I'm, not, I'm CCW thank, shows? I'm not working because next week is my birthday. So oh, I'm this, celebrating my my birthday this weekend. So it's another in, a holiday for Chile. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a national <laughs> it's holiday, another, of course. Another national holiday. My birthday is uh, uh, September 28th. It's a national holiday. No, but yeah, so I'll be... I'll be, I'll be 
probably partying and resting this weekend. And then we'll back in Port St. Lucie the next, uh, you're working that show. Uh, Brian Brock. Brian, Brian Brock, Brock, September 30th. And, oh. um, I'm going to beat his ass. You know that. Port St. Lucie Civic Center. I'm, I'm sure. Uh, you, no, he always messes all my stuff up. I'm, I'm going you should to. beat his uh, He better If he's listening, which he isn't, because he's probably off. I see. You know what? I see him on his Instagram. He's just drinking. All the uh -huh. time. You see him, he's just drinking beer or playing with hogs. Like, he's, he's such a... He's a country boy. <laughs> he's a country boy. Yeah, it's a nice way to put it. But I just see him, he's like, oh, I'm in Savannah and he's got beer. I wrote, I wrote, oh, I see you're training for the 30th. Then he just put LOL. Uh, <laughs> well, and then, and then the next day, it's uh, October 1st, we have the... We are back in Basha de Brew. So and real. Friday I'm working one of your best students. One of my best students. Who's my best student? Oh, Ozzy Kilmeister. Oh, Ozzy Kilmeister. <laughs> he, he's come. He's got momentum for. No, I'm uh, excited. I'm excited to work him one on one. We we only had Ozzy Kilmeister. Is is I wish everybody had his enthusiasm yes. in the ring and everything. But he's got to shut up every once in a while. He runs his mind. Like, just as he started to make headway and like uh, make progress, or people are like, oh, Ozzy's not so bad. We, we could use Ozzy here. He says something that knocks himself back down. Like like. Uh, well, he just got to learn to less is more with September the 30th. I'll shut his mouth for oh. you. And uh, in Port St. Lucie, uh, you, okay. you'll shut loose Spectre's mouth because he's managing Brian Lou Brock. just better stay out of my way. And, uh, <laughs> and then uh, the next day. Does Lou know Brian doesn't even want him for a manager? Does he even know that? <laughs> <I don't> know. <laughs> and, and then Saturday, September, uh, October 1st, we're back in. I'm Brandon Brewing with Bash of the Brew, the hottest show in South Florida, and I'm working Ricky Martinez. I'm excited for that one, too. Oh, you better bring your high spot boots. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it's a I lot know. of spots. Did I Ricky know. make the top 500? I'm oh, no, he disappeared for a little while. So yes. Yeah. But he probably should. He, he was like, he had a lot of progress. He's great. He, he, he could have. I'm excited. I could have seen him in there. Like, I would have believed if it said Ricky Martinez, like, 400. I would have believed. I that. hope it's not as hot as when we had that hour match. Because he's gonna, no. he's gonna make me. Oh, well, September's the hottest month. Like October, it starts out there. by Halloween. It's cool, but this is October first. It still 1st. could be hot. It still could be hot. not as hot as but it was though. It's excited, cooling off. It's that, but that's next weekend. All right. Next. Uh, what about you? What do you What do you got this weekend? Uh, I don't know where I'm at. Milwaukee or somewhere. Oh, okay. Um, I, I uh, no wait, but this weekend's a tour. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm in Milwaukee somewhere this week, and then, then Port St. Lucie, the Friday, and then Saturday, Virginia, and then, then that October, it's in, at, that's the first of October, so then the October schedule starts. It's just, it's all over. I'm literally like in New York one day, uh, California the next, back over again to like a Jersey shot. I'm that's just like cool. ping ponging all over, all the way through up to mid November. In the December, I'm still doing the same thing. I'm still double shot and like I'm crisscross I'm doing a lot of Cali shots Cali back like so like like uh, which is cool I love California so super blessed oh, yeah. yeah yeah it's a great great state to visit great state to go hang out in and party or chill or just whatever you want to do but don't live there it's just it's too much to live there <laughs> well the taxes and it's just it's just expensive very expensive place to live you know um, New York's getting like that too, though. New York's getting yeah, really expensive. Heard. It's getting really expensive too. But but that was episode what sixty two? Sixty two, yes, sir. And um, all right, I, I think you got it now. Yeah, Want some? Get some. Bad enough? Take some. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Peace. Yes, nailed it this time. Want some? Get some. Bad enough? Take some.